thought I'd do today is I'm about to go to the shop. I have something really cool to do. So this was the cool thing I wanted to show you. And that's this rather fantastic Superman poster. It's printed in Scotland in 1978. I should know the name of the artist, but I can't remember it. He was an American comic book artist, but it'll come to me eventually. What's happened with this poster is someone has decided to stick yellow tape to it. Now what I've done previously with this one is I've removed where the yellow tape's been on that one. So I'm gonna do the same to this and then we'll get it framed up and get them on the wall. So I'm gonna do a little bit of restoration work on this poster and it involves getting this yellow tape off. Luckily it's only on one side, which isn't too bad. There's a piece at the top which is folded over. That should be quite easy to get off. And what I'm gonna do, I'll just show you the whole poster, which is very cool is I'm going to use some of this. Now this may seem a little bit brutal, but what I'm going to do is put it on the back of the poster, let it completely evaporate, put it on again, and then see if this will start to lift. If not, it's staying on there. But I think it kind of ruins the poster. I think it looks better if I take those off. I mean, they're not perfect. They have been pinned up on someone's bedroom wall, but that's what you did with posters in the 70s. So you can see here where I've taken the yellow sticker off on the Batman poster. There's a little bit in that corner as well, and that's come off really well. That's just such a cool poster. These two are going to look great as a set. So I'm going to do that on this now. Now, whenever you're doing anything like this, I always recommend you do a little test somewhere that's not going to be seen before you go straight into it. Otherwise, you could end up ruining whatever you're trying to restore. Hello there. Hiya. Like I say, I'm pretty confident because I've done this on the Batman poster that that's going to lift that off. I've got plenty of blue roll ready. I'm just going to turn this over. And all I'm going to do to start with is soak the back of it and let it evaporate. I should start to release some of that sticky on the back of that. All I've done is just wet the corner like that. You can see, but we don't want it to run too far onto the poster. I'll leave that for a couple of minutes to dry out then we'll hit it again and then I'll see if it'll start to lift without ripping the paper behind it. Then I'll repeat the process and do exactly the same on the top corner. So while I'm waiting for that side to dry out a bit, I've actually hit this little piece of tape, which is a lot thinner with a couple of dabs of petrol. And I'll just show you, I don't know if you can see how easily, it's just starting to tear the paper now, how easily that comes off. And that's only after a couple of minutes and bear in mind this could have been on 10, 15 years, this bit of sellotape. But just a little bit of petrol. Yep, and that's off. With uh, minimal damage to the poster, obviously it's leaving a little bit of a, a stain and a mark where the sticky has dried out over the years, but that is uh, pretty good, that. And that was just removing that silly little piece of sellotape that was stuck on there. Let's have a look at this. This is nearly dried now. You can see it's starting to dry out. I'll just see if any of... corners they're just starting to lift now just with a little bit of gentle persuasion I'm going to put some more petrol on that again let it soak and dry out and just keep repeating the process until it lifts that piece of yellow off but what I'm going to do while I'm here is I'll put a bit of petrol on this one at the top what I don't want it to do is travel too far though I'll just put those on there to stop it falling off the counter on this top side now. Right, put some petrol on the top side of it now just to let that soak in the edge and hopefully it will gradually start to lift. It's a slow process but the slower and more careful you are the better the results. It just takes a bit of time. As you can see now this is starting to lift off the paper. It's really not doing much damage at all and it's just a slow process of gently peeling back. Just gently a little bit at a time. Paper is starting to lift, so I'm gonna soak it from the back again. I'm gonna get a little bit of extra magnification. Yeah, there's a little bit of paper lift there, isn't there? Slowly, slowly but carefully, it's starting to come off now. Not really. 
Really damaging the paper. This is the critical bit now, not ripping any other paper. Done it, there we go. That's that horrible bit of yellow tape off. That should dry pretty clear now. It's just a little bit of a tear there, but there's always going to be a little bit. Now this one's been soaking for ages and it just does not seem to want to come off. So what I'm going to try and do is cut through there. So what I've done is I've cut through here to create a little bit of a tab to pull. I'm going to give this a little bit more. I don't want to go too crazy with it. That's what I didn't want it to do. I don't want it to run into the post or what it has done. Hopefully that'll be okay. Yeah, it's just lifting off. straight off now, there we go, for a just hit a dry patch. As you can see, now, that's ready to lift off. Sorted, that's the front one done. Let's see if the back one is going to be as easy, I don't think it is. Sorted. Right, so it's just a case of getting this picture framed up. So that's all those nasty little yellow bits of plastic off the poster now. And what I'm going to do, get it in the frame like the Batman one, and we'll have a look at the two of them together. Hopefully this has stayed in place and we can take a look and see what the two of them look like together. No, no it's not right. Moment of truth. Awesome. 